up, YouTube? Molly G, back at y'all another episode of Running With Y'all on No Cap, No Filter. And today I'm running with y'all about Houston dating scene. You know what I'm saying? Not just Houston dating scene. It's probably going on, you know, in other cities too. But I'm going to just give y'all, you know, my theory and my experiences and what I see on a daily basis between others and what I hear about from others when it's dating scene in Houston. Now, is it just me or everybody meeting the same people, just a revolving door of the same motherfucker, just a toxic cesspool in a dating uh, community, you know, preferably, and, and, and I'm speaking on like the black community, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know about when it comes to other races and shit, but you know, just within a black community. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a toxic cesspool marketplace and everybody trying to pick the best product. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the product that you probably pick probably be one product that then got touched on by everybody here. <laughs> you know, when you black people, you know, when we shop, we got to motherfucking get the product all the way in the back of the shelf. Yeah, this one ain't been touched. This one ain't even been fucked with. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, when you dating, though, and it's like, Everybody doing the same shit. All females doing the same shit. All niggas doing the same shit. Every nigga won't scam. Every nigga won't be a rapper. Every nigga won't motherfucking uh sell weed. Motherfucking breed dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's the latest thing, breeding dogs and shit. Everybody doing the same shit. Females, every female sell lashes. Every female a bottle girl. Every female they got a lot of clout putting entrepreneur in their bio, which I could respect. You know what I'm saying? Why you in your prime? Go ahead on and capitalize off that shit. But I'm just saying, it's like a revolving door. The same motherfuckers you mean. It's like speed dating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker get out the chair and the motherfucker replace them damn near a duplicate. <laughs> Motherfucking clone. You dig? And everybody say, oh, shit, I'm different. I'm me, you know what I'm saying? Nah, bitch, you, you just like the same motherfucker that was in my face, you <laughs> Fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Every female doing hair. Every female doing nails. Motherfuckers doing braids and shit. Everybody doing the same damn shit. And I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of it. Everybody trying to find themselves, dog. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Whatever your niche is, you got to keep finding, keep keep searching till you find it. I, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? So ain't nothing wrong with it, but God damn. Fucking then all the females got the same diet. All these motherfuckers won't eat is pasta, lamb chops, and seafood. And that's it. They gonna pasta, lamb chop, and seafood your ass to death in this motherfucker. Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> and it's crazy because Houston got so much variety of different foods. You know what I'm saying? And everybody going to the same bar, the same social spots and, and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Every social spot you trying to eat, they they playing music in that motherfucker and they and they making it more about the the aesthetic than the actual service and food. Fuck all that. Everybody won't take pictures and shit when they go places. Man, it's the same shit. It's the same goddamn shit. So, yeah, what I want to say is, you know what I'm saying, as far as this dating thing, I think another thing that's taking its toll on it is social media. You know what I'm saying? People doing a lot of comparing. People looking at this person doing that. People looking at that person doing this. And ultimately, they subconsciously be either hating or comparing or, you know, kind of copying. You know, so it's like they're going to see something and they're going to emulate it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they gonna want that same shit. So this is another reason why everybody's doing the same shit. This is another reason. Social media is a big culprit in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody meeting online on social media nowadays. Motherfuckers don't even want to go out and meet nobody no more. Fuck. Shit, I, uh... I motherfucking feel like all the homebodies... Shit, if you a homebody... You 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 meet no, nothing but people online. You don't even get out no more. <laughs> for, but shit, I guess it's it's a good thing not to go out certain places for cause all these packed crowds and shit. Fuck all these shootings start to happen and shit. Fuck, I met I, I know a, a a woman. She got a, a wife. I asked her why why y'all ain't at the pride parade. She was like, all this shooting going on. I ain't going nowhere. I said, shit, I can't blame you. Fuck, I can't even blame. <laughs> Fuck. So it's like, man, everybody. 
saying the same shit. Then all then every time you meet somebody, I can't stand this shit right here. When you meet somebody, ask you what your sign is. I can't stand that shit. Ooh, that shit works my nerves. God damn, that shit irks my nerves. You can line up 10 Sagittarius. All them 10 Sagittarius ain't gonna be the motherfucking same. Some of these motherfuckers gonna have uh, fucking similarities with a Capricorn or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really go by that sign shit, man. That shit irks my motherfucking nerves. As soon as you meet a motherfucker, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't do well with uh, Capricorns. I don't do well with Libras. And then motherfuckers... Every time you meet somebody, you got to deal with their traumas or their uh, past relationships. You got to deal with their traumas of their childhood. You got to deal with all this. You, you meet another motherfucker and you got to be a therapist at, to a certain extent. And it's like, God damn, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They always say, though, you either going to be single and lonely or you're going to be in a relationship and stress. Ain't no happiness around this motherfucker. So you might as well just thug it out and be in that relationship and stress with that same motherfucker. Because it get overwhelming meeting the same. It get overwhelming being in the uh, dating scene and having to start over with somebody new and ask the same, you know what I'm saying? Get to know each other questions and shit. And then nowadays with the get to know each other questions, some people feel like, they don't want to tell you where they work at. They be feeling like, oh, that's too much information. And some people feel like it's like a a, a, a classification. Like, oh, where you where, wherever you tell me you're going to work at, that's the level of respect I'm going to have for you. I don't really look at it like that. I look at it like, well, fuck, that's your... I ain't going to say it's your identity because your job ain't your identity. But, you know, it's a big part of your life. So, shit, we just trying to get to know each other, making conversation. Who knows? You can tell me. You work somewhere, and I probably used to work there. You know what I'm saying? Like, who knows where the conversation could go? But yeah, man, it just, it just overwhelming, bro. It just real overwhelming. Like, you know what I'm saying? Am I tripping? Do y'all have any experiences? Like, do y'all see the same shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? For, and then you gotta, you gotta make sure you picking the right people. Cause a lot of females feel like niggas ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas feel like these hoes ain't shit. But at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You attract what you whatever you put out, you attract. So you fuck, fucking with a lot of ain't shit niggas. Nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying? You attracting those people. You know what I'm saying? And then you gotta understand, you know, certain people ain't for certain people. If you a nonchalant ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Every female ain't gonna go for that. Some females gonna like that. Some nigga, some from your some females like a nigga that's you know reserved, laid back, nonchalant. But some females, they gonna want a nigga who gonna, you know, show show their emotions and shit, you know, you know, where they shoulders, where they where they emotions on their sleeve or whatever, you know, and give compliments, you know, really, you know, express and show how they feel. So, you know, for <laughs> different strokes for different folks, really, basically. You know what I'm saying? So so why you in that motherfucking <laughs> in that marketplace, in that cesspool, in that in that toxicity shit. You got to hope that you don't motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? You got to hope that the person you meet don't know your circle. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. You know what I'm saying? You be hoping like, oh, let me uh, send her social media or picture of her to the chat or show my niggas this. And hopefully they don't know uh, this girl. Please don't let none of these niggas know this girl. Uh, you do the same shit if you're a female. You put put a put a nigga social like oh do y'all any one of you bitches know this nigga? Please don't let him. you gotta get the car facts. And if they do know him, you gotta get a good you gotta hope for a good report card to come back. You better hope that because <laughs> some people could deal with it. You know what I'm saying? If, if your friend talk to a, a possible new boo, some people could deal with it. For you know, as long as they ain't messing around with y'all together. But me personally, shit, I can't deal with that shit. I cannot deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if y'all didn't, if they didn't text, then, you know, he probably didn't get fucked, but he felt like it's a good girl or whatever, then I could deal with that. That's cool. That's fine. But if a nigga got the second and third base, oh, shit, hell no. <laughs> I can't fuck with that shit. I cannot fuck with that shit. So, yeah, man, that, that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? Because Houston big, but at the end of the day, this it's a small world, and you'll be surprised who know everybody, dog. You'll be surprised. You know what I'm saying? You'll be surprised how many people got their names ringing bells on all type all all different sides of town but that's my uh evaluation you know what i'm saying like put down in the comments if y'all feel the same way or if y'all feeling different just let me know man let's 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 run it 
on this topic right now of uh, being single and dating in Houston, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the black community and between the ages of 21 to, 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 to 40, you 